Hello and welcome to Long Eaton Stadium. We're here on semi-final night and it's Heat 1 rolling. Two star men, Junior Wayman and uh, 202, Richard Mason at the back. Not quite a big field of cats, but Phil Bicknell's at the front with his brand new spanky machine. Oh, they're away and racing, are they? Yes, they're off. Uh, Phil Bicknell is taking the lead then on the early running, and we've lost somebody down there. We're getting a bit of uh, argy bargy, and somebody is in trouble and almost rolls right over down there. Looks like it's a 134 Wally Pidham car. And it's uh, Ray Williams who's taking over the running at the front now. <laughs> Somebody going out wide there, look like it is a Bicknell machine. Junior Emman moving up through the field. Pitham again in trouble. Steve Jacklin there, he's uh, slowed down and looks like he's uh, moving to the infield. And uh, Williams has lost it down there on turns three and four. He's been clobbered there by 338. That's Chris Brock's up. So. Looks like it's uh, Dave Willis who could be leading then. Got a problem down there. Mason's been spun out there by it looks like Wayman Jr. Jr. moving through the field. He must be about in the lead now. And uh, Wally Pitton still in all sorts of troubles in this heat one. Looks like it's uh, definitely 515 Jr. Wayman who's leading then. Looks like it could be Dave Willis in second place. Strangely enough, he's able to just about live with Wehrman. Looks like it could be Steve Kayser in third. Bicknell slowed down, but looks like he's uh, found a gear again and got going. Looks like Wehrman slowed down a bit. He's been passed by Dave Willis. We didn't see what happened then, but it could be Dave Willis who's leading. Absolutely, Dave Willis leading and uh, Wehrman in second place. Rocks up, probably third. So, what happened to Wehrman? Rocks up behind him. Wehrman not seem able to uh, make any inroads onto uh, the lead of Dave Willis. Yes, it looks like. Uh, He's slowly starting to catch Willis up. And uh, Rocksop's just gone spinning backwards into the fence down there on turn three and four. And somebody else has just gone whacking in the fence down there. That's 4 1 Paul Law and 380 Steve Kayser. Still Willis who's leading. Looks like Mason's not doing uh, very well in this race. Although he must be quite well up. And now Wehrman's back up with Willis. Getting to the closing stages now of uh, Heat 1. Wehrman now attacking the back bumper of Dave Willis. Comes in with a big one, moves him out wide and uh, takes the inside line and moves through into the lead. Willis out wide, very sporting way of going racing that from Wehrman. He didn't destroy Willis but moved him out wide. Although Willis has stolen, he's in trouble down there on turn four. 
So I spoke too soon. Getting quite a big crowd of people around us now. There's three laps to run now for Wernman. Coming up to lap the uh, 134 Wally Pitton car. now for Frankie Wehman Jr. in 515. Coming down the back straight. Through turns three and four. Cranking on the opposite lock. Down to take the chequered flag. Frankie Wehman Jr. then the winner of heat one. Steve Kays are in trouble then, even though the checkered flag has dropped. So, women, the winner then of Heat One. Semi-final night here, Lonnie. <laughs> Colin Nairn in 2 to lead them off. Coming round, turn swim four. Pace begins to pick up now, and the, uh, the green flag comes down. It's uh, Colin Nairn in the lead. First of the blows is Steve Smith. The first of the yellows is Steve Smith. First of the blows is Murray Harrison and it's Dave Parisford and Pete Falding at the back. Neil Wilton goes off there. John Sish spins in front of everybody. And Roger Bromley goes off over there. But it looks like uh, Steve Smith in the lead. Colin Nairn doing his usual crashing thing, but Steve Smith, uh, and uh, that looks like uh, one of Alan's, is it Neil Scudlin goes over the front of the Richard Knight car. But it's Steve Smith, so it looks like uh, Cubby Richard Knight and Wayne Handley in third place. Uh, there we go, there's your leader. Car number 40. Richard Knight second, Wayne Handley third, Glint up four. We've got 116 off there, spun it round. It could be the old uh, Richie Thornton car. Rob Scriven spins to try and avoid him. He's in a bad position there, there's a 116 car as he pulls it off there. But it looks like it's uh, Steve Smith now. Going up behind Jim Conlon, goes down the inside of him. Phil Wilton spins on the back straight. Third scan number 40 from 436. It goes over the front of the 280 Colin Danka. And it looks like uh, when Hanley takes the lead. But, uh, Richard Knight into second place. Colin Nairn causing trouble again. Wherever there is trouble, Colin Nairn is there. So it's Hanley from 436 Richard Nairn. Looks like uh, Murray Harrison in third place. And the 116 car pulls off over there. 
but it's Hanley from 4-3-6. Looks like he's actually catching him. Beresford is pressuring uh, Paulding. Falding goes off there into the Colin Ayn car. Looks like uh, Pez has stuck him, stuck him in there. Pez is well informed this past, this second end of the season. He could end up being world champion at Bradford. He's got a front row start. But up to the halfway mark now, it's uh, still way handily from Richard Knight. Murray Harrison is closing though in third place. Daft four, Dave Beresford fifth. And Folding Poe has pulled off there and it's a degree with a flat front tyre. Jim Conlon spins it. Covers the crowd there with Shale. It's a close finish three now, first three. Can Murray Harrison stick the bumper in on Richard Knight, goes down the inside there. Catches up and Wayne Handley goes off and Murray Harrison takes the lead. So it's Murray Harrison now from 4 3 6, Richard Knight, and 96. Linda. And Beresford has gone off over there as well. So, that's another red top off. Is he going to get it? No, he's, he's retiring to the centre green. So, there's uh, not many cars left in this race now. So, I think eight cars running at the moment. It's uh, Morik Harrison in the lead from Richard Knight. And Glenn Daft has gone off as well. Dear me. Seven cars left now. It's like he's uh, busted his rear tyre. Cars left on this and on this track. Mudd Harrison coming up behind Mark Webster. And he takes a checkered flag. Mudd Harrison wins the second heat here on semi-final night. Not long heat. 